Hello YouTube, I'm Joe, you're watching Ink and Iron, and I am back today with a video of pen and knife pairings. Uh, this video idea was suggested to me by my first patron, Jade Schaefer, I believe I'm saying that correctly, and that I have the name correct. There will be a little thing down here, as well as a shout out at the end. Thank you very much for the idea, Jade. Uh, if anyone else has ideas, let me know. Um, I will listen to you even more if you consider donating to me on Patreon, especially since I am self-quarantined right now. I know this coronavirus is taking a toll on all of us. It is all our collective problem. Uh, so I hope you all are doing well. And my cat just jumped up on the cat tree where my tripod is. Come here, Mia. Say hi. Say hi. Good job. So, to everyone dealing with the virus out there, uh, I'd like to just raise a quick toast, because I haven't worked in five days, so <laughs> cheers. Let's get going. Just as a heads up, my cats are like running all around, and like I said, the tripod is on a cat tree. So if you see a lot of jostling and hear a lot of noises, that's what those are. Okay, so for this first pairing, I'd like to show you the Conklin Classic. This is in the Rainfall pattern, I believe. This is a black and blue ebonite, and hopefully the detail is coming across. I actually have two knives that would pair with this, so for the first one. Okay, the first pairing with the Conklin Classic, I would put with the uh, Spyderco Paramilitary 2, specifically the clip that I got for cheap off eBay. I have a video related to this clip. I will link it in the description, but uh, I think these make a nice pair. And then I have one more knife that would also pair. And by the second pairing, I already had to kick my little cat out of here because he's being too annoying. Um, so again, Conklin Classic. And as you can see by this handle, this is a blue and black G10, actually attached to a Becker BK14. This is the SE Becker collaboration. Uh, I acid etched mine years ago. Um, if you're wondering how I did this process, I will probably be making a video about acid etching in the future. But I think, honestly, these are about as close a match as you can get in terms of color and uh, kind of styling because this also chills in this Kydex sheath. Um, it, it can go around your neck. I don't really wear a neck knife. Um, yeah, this was kind of an experimental knife for me. I haven't carried it a whole lot, but uh, there you go. Conklin Classic and uh, two knives. All right, next pairing. Okay, so to pair with the Victorinox, I have a D-like Alpha pen. Yeah, it says War and Peace on there. They stopped doing it for their uh, newer models of this pen, luckily. Um, this is meant to emulate a Caveco Sport, so you can tell it has like the octagonal uh, sort of build on the cap, although it does fit an international uh, converter, I believe. Let's see. Well, at least a short cartridge, if not a converter. Um, video in the future about this, but there you go. Super compact, super capable EDC pairing right here. And uh, I have another knife that would actually go with this. Let me show you. The other knife that could go with this D like Alpha is the. Lightning OTF, I think. Can you see it on there? Lightning. Uh, this is made anonymously in Taiwan somewhere. Um, you can find these knives just about anywhere, eBay or any of your favorite retailers. Um, I'll try and put a link in the description if they're on Amazon. Again, that goes for everything you see on here today. Um, but I think aesthetically the blues are close enough and all the silver trimmings kind of bring these two together. Okay, here's a really bulletproof uh, EDC combination here. So this is the Keras Customs ink. This is indeed a fountain pen. And I, sorry, I almost dropped the cap. I got mine with a Bach titanium nib. Hopefully I can kind of, will it focus? Not quite. You can see it's darker than steel. Um, this is a really good pen. And you can basically chuck this across a parking lot without having to worry about it so I would pair it with this and kind of due to its blue clip but also because of its capability this is the Spyderco Yojimbo 2. Uh, this is a very aggressive Warncliffe. Very very aggressive. Uh, if you've seen my 
little channel logo, you know it's me posing with this thing. Um, super slicey, incredible hollow grind. I think you can make it out a little bit there. It comes to a very fine point and it just it slices like crazy. So if you're looking for a pen that's going to stand up to the job and a knife that's going to stand up to the job, it's going to be these two, the Ojimbo and the Keras Customs Ink. This is a custom 3D printed uh, clip on there, which I got off of Shapeways. I don't remember. I'll try and drop a link in the description if I find it. Okay, so this next combo could probably be stronger if this clip were anodized gold. So this is a titanium MXG gear pocket clip, link in description, uh, on a Spyderco Native 5 Salt. I have custom writ dyed this one. I have a video about it. You've probably seen it, but if you haven't, link in description. Go check out my other stuff, and I'll show you how to make this fade from yellow all the way to red. But I would pair this with the Conklin Crescent Filling Fountain Pen. And uh, I don't know if you're able to see the sort of, uh, what do they call it? I forget what this texture is called. I will put it somewhere down there. Um, but this is a textured red resin with gold trim. And then the filling mechanism is this little crescent lever right here. I think uh, if I am able to anodize this Spyderco clip gold, that these would be a really sort of high-end, um, classy-looking pair. Uh, I think they're pretty close. I think the reds are just about even. So uh, yeah, I might actually try and give this titanium clip a little bit of an anodize since uh, I have the time, and it turns out I have borax. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I will link Blade HQ's anodizing at home video down below. I'm gonna have a lot of stuff to link down below. Okay, next combination is sort of a go big or go home. Um, so this is the Jinhao 159. This is meant to be the same proportions as a Mont Blanc 149. And as far as I can tell from everything on the internet, it is the same size. Um, I bought this more as a size comparison than anything, but it's actually a pretty nice pen. Um, and since it is big and black and silver trimmed, I have a big and black silver trimmed knife to go with it. This is the Spyderco Resilience. This is about a four inch blade. Uh, it is a liner lock. It is, um, if you get it as a seconds knife, extremely cheap. I think this one was like $15 or something. Um, so yeah, you can, you can really uh, get a lot of work done for uh, not a lot of money if you play your cards right with this knife. So I think you can see just how large both of these things are. Here's like a normal sized 91 millimeter Victorinox. Yeah, they're, they're pretty large. As I was rustling through some things, I think I found another match for the uh, Spyderco Native 5 Salt. This is the Pelican Twist Fountain Pen. Uh, this is an entry level pen. They're less than 20 bucks, I believe. Um, they are cartridge converter and uh, pretty nice. Um, I really like the twisted design. I think it's eye-catching, and uh, I think it goes with a funky little knife like this one. Here's another infamous knife from the channel. This is my Spyderco Caribbean Salt. I got this for $40 at the Spyderco second sale. Um, my only complaint is that it doesn't close, like it doesn't guillotine like the other compression locks that I have. Not sure why. Um, but this has been custom dyed by me to be blue. I kind of ended up at teal, um, but I like teal, so I'm keeping it. And uh, I have a couple of pens that might go with this one reasonably. This is the Pen BBS 350. Um, it is a clipless fountain pen, uh, silver trim, and uh, I think it's a pretty nice writer. Honestly, these have pretty good nibs. Um, don't overlook Pen BBS by any means. Or, I think I would pair this knife with the D-Like Smurfs pen, and D-Like is the same company that makes that little Quebeco looking one. Kind of an interesting design, flat top and then like tapered at the bottom. But uh, yeah, I think that could be kind of a fun, really weird <laughs> EDC combo right there. Yeah, there you go. I almost forgot. Look, I have a uh, Pilot 78G which also matches the Spyderco Caribbean gold trim. 
Uh, these may come in silver. I don't remember. But if I find it, link in description. And you'll notice I've mostly been sticking to color combinations. That's just how my brain is working today. However, I found a super compact EDC combo. Boom. <laughs> All right, so the knife is a uh, Spyderco Man Bug. This is a sprint run in SUS 410 and Vitoku 2 steel. Yeah, it's a laminate, Sanmai. Uh, this is a Moon Man pen, and the name is totally escaping me right now. Uh, I believe it just has like a number designation, but you eyedropper fill it, and then it extends to a almost full length pen when you properly affix the cap to the end of the barrel. So I think if you're looking for maximum capability and minimum carry size, this is going to be a pretty good option. Next up we have some uh, transparent combos. This is the Spyderco Manix 2. This is a glow-in-the-dark handle scale. Um, this was only available as an EDC forums exclusive. Uh, I got mine as a seconds because you can see there's a crack right here from where the barrel spit or uh, lanyard tube was swaged on there. So, yeah, a little unfortunate, and I don't know if you can see through it. There you go. You can see the skeletonizing through there. I think uh, Pilot Kakuno could be a good combo. Is that facing the right way? Yeah. This is a full demonstrator pen all the way through the section and uh, into the converter. It actually fits a Con 70, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, so, yeah, go have fun with that. And... Twisby Eco. I think these are a pretty cool match for each other. Both have a very industrial look. This is a piston filling fountain pen and I have a little bit of residual ink from a different video that I did actually. So there you are. Links in description for as many things as I can find. Alright, let's say you need a uh, sort of gray man combo. Here's the Spyderco Manix 2 and this is in the Maximet steel. I have uh, acid washed mine, so it is quite dark, uh, but I think it gives it a really cool look. And I would pair it with the Jin Hao, I believe this is the 599, 599A or something like that. This is all gray as well. Silver trim, and I think these make a nice combo. I think you could also take any uh, sort of patinaed Maximet and combine it with, you know, any pen in titanium. Uh, this is the Big Eye Design TI Click EDC pen. This is the Reich Knife. Uh, God, I forget the name. I'll link it down here. I actually have a video about it, um, but I think they go together really well. There's another combo for you. This is the TRM Atom. This is the uh, red carbon fiber weave, and I have a little red O-ring on there as well, which. Three Rivers Manufacturing actually sells on their site. And I want to pair this with, this is actually a platinum, uh, old school, long short fountain pen. Um, I don't think it really has a name. Just go for like platinum vintage fountain pens on eBay and you can find these guys. Um, yeah, I think the uh, red is pretty close in color. And also these are both very compact to carry. So you can see once I cap that, it's very small. And this one, super thin in the pocket. Like, it's as thick as a pen. It's pretty nice. Next up, Spyderco Manix 2. Uh, these are custom micarta scales I got off of eBay. And they were the inspiration for these color combos. So here's an Estrabook SJ fountain pen. These are vintage. You can find them pretty much everywhere especially on like eBay or on like pen forums, you should be able to find these very easily. Um, it's pretty old school, has a lever filler on there. But uh, yeah, I think those look pretty good together. And I also have one more combo for this knife. Here's the other combo, the Conklin Brownstone. Uh, this one looks pretty good with it, although it has black trim, so it's a little hard to expose for both of these at the same time. I think you can see that sort of flecked brown and black resin. It uh, looks better in person than on camera, probably, especially this front cam. 
I was kind of debating this one, but uh, here's a Monteverde Giant Sequoia fountain pen. It is quite large, number six size nib on there, and a pretty nice streaky brown and black resin. I would pair this, after much deliberation, with an Opinel. This is a French traditional slip joint knife. However, it does have a locking bolster on there, so you actually can't close it. So technically locking and technically a slip joint at the same time. Very strange, but uh, I think these guys make a nice duo. Okay, next up here is an Asa Genius Pen. This is handmade Indian ebonite pen with an ebonite feed. Um, pretty cool, it is eyedropper only, which is my only sort of downside for it. And I'm gonna pair it with the Boker Strike uh, normally this is an auto, at least the way most people sell them. I have de-autoed mine, so if you're wondering how I did that, check out my video about it. But uh, I think these guys make a nice combo, and I don't know if you can see the sort of brown streaks running through this here. Let me try focusing, maybe? It's a little brighter. But uh, yeah, I think they make a pretty good team. Here's an interesting one. The Nemesign Singularity Fountain Pen. This does have the flamed nib on there. So, pretty cool pen, pretty affordable. And I'm gonna pair it with this understated guy right here, Spiderco Capara. And uh, hopefully you can see that carbon fiber in there. I think they're both kind of subtly good looking and based in black as their main color. So, pretty cool finding a lot of things I wouldn't expect. So uh, here's the Old Forge Barlow. This is a handmade knife from Pakistan. Uh, if you saw me unboxing knives at the beginning of this year, this was one of them. I have since cleaned it up. It does have a Damascus blade, brass liners, bunch of file work. Looks really cool. And uh, let's pair this with a Pilot Lucina. This is technically a vintage pen. Uh, I believe it was mostly made in the 80s and 90s. I'm not an expert, so please don't roast me in the comments section about it. But uh, yeah, I would totally carry these together. And uh, not something I would have thought of before this video, I'll tell you that. Okay, let's go with a really uh, budget option here, budget friendly anyway. So this is the Steel Wheel Cut Jack. This is in D2 steel. I don't know if you can read that. So it is D2. Uh, super compact little flipper. Um, I think they're like 40 bucks. I actually got this one for under 20 on Amazon one time. And I would pair that with the most budget Flex fountain pen of all time. Well, not of all time. There's a couple more. But uh, Noodler's Conrad. This is in like the Liberty finish or something. Um, yeah, I think they don't exactly color match. But in terms of like not spending a whole lot of money, but getting a whole lot of utility and value for your money, these two are a great pair. Look, I finally found a match for the little Victorinox. Here's a little transparent Victorinox classic. Uh, this is in the sapphire scales, I believe they're called. Sapphire, the see-through blue. And this is a, another Noodler's pen. This is the Nib Creeper. And you can see through it because it is, in fact, a piston filler. I think you may be able to see the piston moving through there. If not, I am sorry. My lighting could definitely be better. Okay, another super compact combination. This is the Spiderco Para 3 Lightweight. There are no liners on this knife. Super light. And I would like to pair it with, uh, this is an Osprey Pens Safety Pen. I believe it's Osprey. It might not be. But you can see when I pull off the cap, there's no nib there. So what you have to do is move the blind cap and the nib comes popping out. This was originally designed to retract and then be capped. So if it's in your shirt pocket, it is safe and much less likely to kind of spill ink all over your clothes because the uh, clothes weren't cheap back in the day. So yeah, there you go. All right, and last one here. This one's gonna be more of a contrast than a combination, so. Spiderco Dragonfly 2. This is in VG10. I guess this was a sprint run. I didn't know at the time. I just thought it came in VG10. 
and uh, I would pair this little knife with this little pen. This is another D like alpha, just like that blue one. And uh, yeah, this is, I don't remember what they call this finish, but it's sort of an orange fleck. And uh, I think these are kind of a statement combination to go together. And uh, looking at this pile of stuff behind me, um, I have noticed I don't really have anything in yellow or purple. So if you have yellow or purple pens to suggest to me, please put them in the comments, as well as yellow and purple knives, because I really like this purple knife. No one ever tries to steal it from me, and uh, I think it's really easy to find in every room I go in, because I'm like, just look for purple. Piece of cake. All right, thank you for watching this uh, knife and pen pairing video. Again, shout out to my supporter on Patreon, Jade Schaefer. Thank you so much for the suggestion. Um, it really helps me out making uh, as much content uh, as I can during this uh, time of quarantine. Again, I hope your families are well. I hope you're well. Please take care of yourselves. Uh, if you like the video, give it a like. Dislike it, give it a dislike, and tell me why in the comments. Um, check out my Patreon. Check out my Instagram. Check out my upcoming videos, because I'll catch you on the next one. All right. Bye.